Well, is your child feeling stressed? They're not alone. Parents and schools struggling to keep up. But News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says a lot more help is on the way. Connecticut is making a $100 million investment in kids and mental health. But it comes too late for one teen from Fairfield. You would want Kevin as your teammate. He was someone who was a rah-rah guy. Kevin Cutso seemed happy. Always the type of kid who was picking you up, saying, you know, making positive mental attitude. But inside, he struggled with depression. Cutso took his own life last February. We were not prepared for this. The CDC says teen suicide attempts jumped 31% during the pandemic. That's why Connecticut just passed three new mental health laws. Starting next year, most insurance plans will cover two evaluations a year, no pre-authorization or copay required. And for low-income parents, the state will cover treatment that insurance doesn't. There's no vaccine for mental health but it does demand the same uh, attention. Schools will get more psychologists and more access to Narcan after a 13-year-old boy overdosed on fentanyl. Fairfield 911. And 911 callers will now be routed to mental health professionals, cutting down on dangerous police calls. That they're not just out on an island by themselves. Kevin Cutso's family is doing their part. Kevin's afterglow will award scholarships for youth therapists. It's so prevalent now. I want parents to be educated. If your child is in crisis, you can call 211 and get immediate help. In the newsroom, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.